I will be there in a few minutes. Hello, hello, hello. Anyone out there yet? I can't really see. So what I'm going to make today, which is, um, I call it after Thanksgiving turkey soup. So I use the um, the bone that came in the ham. I have it in a pot. I have like two of this filled with water. And I put some smoked neck bones in there. Um, some of the the turk the ham bone is in there as well, and I'm gonna put some bits of turkey leftover turkey in there um, later on. So what I'm gonna do right now while this is boiling up, and it's been boiling for about an hour since I like it really soft. Let me get my bowl for me to make. Oops, sorry for the noise. I'm going to make some dumplings to go in the soup, so I'm going to need that right now if I put the ingredients in the pot. And for most things, I cook like my mom. I do not measure. I just put whatever I think I need. So. These dumplings are actually different from... American dumplings. Well, this is not going to come up. Okay. I just used this today so they're clean, but I still wipe it up. And I'm just going to put some flour. I love dumplings. So, so about one and a half cups of flour. I get some water. This is my leftover turkey. I'm going to put it right there. You see what else I need. Okay, so I pretty much have everything in there. This is boiling. Let me cover that pot. Okay, I took care of this. Okay, so now I'm going to knead the flour. Let me try. I'm going to knead the flour right now. I have on some gloves. I'm going to put on some other gloves. I burnt my hand last night. Today I cut my finger. So, let's double the gloves. Okay, now I'm going to need the flour. What do I need? Okay. I need a Don't want to touch anything. Okay, so I usually just add water to the flour and mix it. No 
some measure in here. If it's too soft, then I add some more flour. So this is what I'm doing. And some of you on here may already know, but for those that don't know, there's no salt, it's just flour and water. And I mix it. Okay. And now I'm going to knead it. Not a whole lot. cornmeal in there I forgot today but sometimes I would add some cornmeal in there but I think it's too late now so that's how I need my flour <laughs> you can knead it as long as you want so that's the flour So now I'm going to add my ingredients in there. So as you can see, these are all fresh stuff I have. This is celery. Uh, the middle is pumpkin. And over here is uh, the carrots. So carrots, pumpkin, celery. So I'm just gonna take all of that, drop it in the pot. I think I may need some more water. All the celery stalks in there. And then I have some corn. But I'm going to put it in a little later because they're pretty much, they're not very hard because they're the frozen type. So I'm going to put the corn in later. I also have spinach. I'm gonna put that in later. In the Maggie, let's see, Grace, chicken soup. Normally I get one that says pumpkin, but this one just say chicken soup. So hopefully that work. Okay. So right here. I cut up a red potato and a white potato. I mean, the, the red ones, I leave the skin on there. I just wash it up. So these are potatoes, but I don't put a lot because no one in my family really likes potatoes. But my mom always put potatoes in her soup, so I guess I'm putting it. Okay, so this is that. this. And I put some onions and peppers. Let's get an onion. I also put, if I have fresh garlic, I put fresh garlic in there. But I'm gonna put the onions. Let me just peel it out. I'm just peeling up the onion right now. Not a fan. Pretty much you can put any vegetables you want in there. Sometimes depending on what I'm making, I might if I don't have fresh fresh vegetables, I will put um frozen vegetables and if I don't have if it's not after Thanksgiving I don't have turkey bone or this sort of bone and I put smoked neck bones chicken wings anything okay I'm gonna cut this pepper really quick and put it in there because 
something that hurts my eye. And the pepper, the onion. I'm gonna chop this onion. This is just onions. Now the red bell pepper. A lot of times I have my seasoning already blended. When I make my seasoning, I blend. Am I too loud? Oh, sorry, my daughter is working. Oh, okay. So um, usually I'll blend all my peppers, onions, and add vinegar into it. And then every time I cook, I just put a spoon or a couple of spoons of the fresh seasoning in my food. But I think the last time I put either too much vinegar or something, so it's kind of like sour. So I'm not gonna put it in the soup. So now I'm just gonna put all this nice red pepper in the soup. Okay, it's red pepper in the soup. Yeah, there we go. I need some music, but that's the name I always mess with my music. So I'll take this big spoon. And I'm going to just stir it. You guys later on I'm gonna put a, a, a post on Facebook so you guys might see the picture because let me see maybe I could carry the camera. Let's see. This camera is actually attached to the computer so but let me see what can what I can do so you guys can see inside of the soup. Okay maybe that might work. Oops let me show you so this is the inside of the soup. Okay, Let's put this camera back. I should have a camera person, you know. Let's see how we had it here. Okay, so we're back in business. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now I put all of this in there. I think I'm gonna put some more water because it's my husband likes the water more than the food that's in there. So I'm just gonna add more water to it. I forget to put on my apron, but I want you guys to see my shirt. That's the shirt I made myself. Just cut up the sleeve and put a print on there. What's on there? I'm the boss. Yep. Not in the kitchen though. Maybe in fashion. Put my apron on. This apron is too big. Okay. Now I feel like a real chef. Yeah. Let me see if I get a little music. Okay, you guys don't want to hear me worshiping. That's just something else. When I was growing up, I did not like soups. Okay, I'm back. 
Man, I know it's winter. I have an air conditioner on. Oh, it's hot in this kitchen. I don't know. Okay, so let me pour some more water. I'm going to just add a lot of water in it. Okay. Now I'm going to add the chicken soup. Okay, I'm going to get it So I have my dumplings. I'm going to put some dry. Uh, this is just minced onions. I'm just going to put some in there, like a spoonful. I'm not going to add any, any salt to it because that thingy, uh, the chicken soup thing has salt in it. So I'm not going to add any salt. I'm going to add some garlic. I'm just gonna pour some garlic. Uh -uh. Oops. Okay. Okay, I think I got everything in there. Okay, so we have carrots, pumpkin, celery stuff. See, that's the ham bone. This big chunk of bone in there. I'm going to add in the corn. Let me just rinse it out a little. Oh, wait. I got something here I'm going to add in it, but I'm going to have to fill it up first. Green bananas. I got two of them, so I'm just going to add it in. I never had them before, but I feel like eating some green bananas today. So, if you're not from the Caribbean, then you don't know about this. So these are green bananas. I'm just gonna cut them in three and put it in the pot. There we go. The good thing about that, you put everything together, everything is in one pot, and you will have food for pretty much like two days. It's only my husband, my daughter, and I. My daughter is there for just a few days. But we'll have food for today and tomorrow. And then we served the Thanksgiving food for Sunday because I had I ate it twice yesterday. That was enough. Okay, so this is some of my leftover turkey. So I'm gonna get some from in there and put in it. I wash my hands. Let's see. These are the, the extra part of it. I'm gonna chop this in here. So these are more of the bony parts of the chick. Usually I take it out. And the skin as well. Sorry. I like the skin of the chick. I'm not a chicken fan, but okay. Bones in the food. Okay, I think that's enough meat. I'm gonna take this glove out. Okay, so that's turkey that I put in there now. 
Okay, so now I put in the corn. Okay, this is the corn. And all I think I have left to put in it is the um, spinach. Oh, wait, I forgot the dumplings. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make the dumplings. i to take this off. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the dumplings in the pot. I'm gonna dry my hands because then if it's wet and they come up kind of sticky. Okay. I think it's kind of soft. Oh, that's okay. And I just make dumplings. I do not make them any special way. I just roll them like this. And jump in there. It's a little softer than I make it. But... So see, I just roll the flour and make these. Some people make them like... Some people make them round. But... I just roll them. I'm gonna lower my fire. Once I put everything in the pot, I will lower the fire and just let it boil for half an hour or a little longer. Just let it simmer and boil on a low fire. And there's a lot of food in it, so we don't really need, we don't use crackers, but I have like the really small crackers. If I'm using just the soup, then we use the crackers. Sometimes my husband makes um, split pea soup, which we blend as well. Okay, so the dumplings are in the pot. Okay. Let me just stir it to make sure. Okay, so now we have orange, yellow, green, brown, all colors in this healthy soup. Oh, I'm going to put some seeds in there. too. 
Okay, so I put like a little bit of clove. This is clove. Just a little bit. Three drops. And this is um, black seed, black sesame seed. So I just put some in there. And this is Bayesian pepper. Yeah, see? Bayesian hot sauce. My husband brought it from Barbados. So it's really hot. Well, for me it is. They say it's not for them, but... So I just put... Oh, shoot. I think that's too much, but that's okay. If I didn't put that, I would put some um, cayenne pepper, but I think that might be enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and that's it. So when I come back, I'm going to turn off the, the pot once everything is cooked. Well, just before it's cooked. And then I'll throw the spinach in the pot. And we're good to go. So this is my after Thanksgiving, what did I say? Soup. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of there. Make sure you guys check the show um, this Sunday evening. And we might either be seven or eight, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but I'm gonna have my favorite pasta. Well, what are my favorite pastas? Cause I think I have like three really great pastors that have really impacted my life. One, when I left Dominica, Pastor Philip Prosper. And uh, then when I went to Miami, um, Pastor Gilbert Coffee, and then to Georgia, uh, Pat, not Georgia, Ohio, Pastor Tyus Ned, and then back to Georgia again, Pastor Coffee. So, um, well, he's gonna be on Sunday, so make sure you guys are uh, tuning in, because I know he's gonna have some really good, empowering, encouraging words to give to you guys. So I will see you guys on Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, I don't know what day it is. So God bless you guys, love you guys. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs>